Alright, so... Final Fantasy IV, the later years, is split up into many, I guess, stories. And... Of course, uh, you'd always start at the top, because then it feeds into the other ones, because uh, originally it's all locked. So the only one that was available is Theodore's Tale. So uh, let's just start there. Theodore, the crown prince of Baron, defies his mother's wishes and joins the illustrious Red Wings to prove his prowess as a knight. But when the Red Wings are destroyed by an enemy ambush, Theodore alone must set out to save all he loves with the aid of a hooded stranger. Oh, let's go and do a new game plus then. Okay, you can continue play using your previous levels and band affinities. Yeah, let's do a new game plus. Oh wait, do I want to load or want to start? Let's just do start. Long ago, this blue planet was saved by the prayers of an entire people. Two moons became one anew, and time and in Exonerably marched on the day of departure has arrived for the heir of the Holy Paladin. In the skies above the airship, two moons rise listlessly, one ominously growing ever larger. Why has this dark harbinger returned? A new destiny has begun to unfold, and yet, as always, the crystals shed only their silent light. Theodore's Tale, The Last of the Red Wings. I realize there's no voice acting. The Animate Isle is in sight. Very good. Was this when uh, they introduced Biggs and Wedge into this uh, game? You don't look well, Prince Theodore. Yep, Prince of Baron, Theodore Harvey. Harvey. I can tell you're nervous about this. After all, it is your first appointment. Try talking with some of the other soldiers to take your mind off matters. Adam and I looks peaceful enough at first glance. I'll give it, give you that. But there's the this grotto there, a holy land of sorts. All knights trainees train there at least once. The Red Wings are the pride of Baron, the most elite of our kingdom's forces. We may not be at war, but our training regiment is as fierce and grueling as always. Bigs, <laughs> monsters don't play favorites, royalty or peasants. They aren't picky about their prey. It's just as true for us Red Wings too, I suppose. You may be the Crown Prince of Baron, but it means nothing here on this ship. Your father, King Cecil, achieved knighthood by passing this trial himself. Did you know that he actually served as Captain of the Red Wings before becoming King? Yes, I did. We are currently on our way to Adam and Isle, a very small landmass in the middle of the ocean. It is the staging ground for your initial trial in becoming a knight, my lord. It goes without saying, of course, how overjoyed your father, Cecil, is to see you finally taking on this task. How are you feeling now, my lord? Better? I don't think I even talked to every single person, but that's fine. I suppose so. I can certainly understand what you're going through, my lord. Considering your bloodline, there's nothing for you to be worried about. He's a paladin. My bloodline. Not only he's a paladin, he's a Lunarian. Yes, my lord. You have inherited the blood of two great heroes. King Cecil the Paladin and Queen Rosa the White Mage. And she was a pretty strong White Mage at that. That doesn't mean anything. I am just another soldier being tested for knighthood. But you, uh, got the genes, though. Don't kid yourself, boy. You're not a soldier yet. You're nothing but a squire. Joining the Red Wings isn't the easy lark. It was back in Cecil's day. <laughs> King Cecil's day. I know that. That's why I'm here today, to. Damn. 
punch him in the face. Prince Theodore. You've got a lot to learn, boy. Starting with how to keep that mouse of yours shut. Meanie. Ready to touch down on the intimate aisle, Captain. Good. All hands. Landing station. Oh, that map, though. Red Wings. Oh, that line formation. Here's our stop, Theodore. The Adamant Isle. You are to report to the village of Mithril up ahead and wait orders. Got it? Yes, sir. Can't hear you. Say it like you mean it, boy. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. <laughs> as sorry as ever before. Jeez, Biggs, what's your problem? Going to Mithril. Oh, they didn't do this in the uh, original game. And by this, I mean like pan over new areas. Your mission in this trial is to obtain the King's Emblem housed deep inside the Adamant Isle Grotto. There's one condition, boy. You can't enter the grotto until the moon is at its fullest. You best get yourself ready before then, mentally and physically. Is there any reason why I have to wait for the mo full moon, sir? Ha! You don't know anything about that either? This is going to be a long day, I'll tell you that. See if they tell us what it is about that moon thing. The light from the moon casts its effects upon all the creatures of our blue planet. No mantras can escape from its influence, and neither can you, Prince Theodore. Black magic, white magic, even physical attacks are all affected by the phase of the moon. But remember this. The moon cycles between phases with the passage of time, my lord. You will need to adjust your battle tactics with the current phase to survive out on the field. What happens during full moon? Black magic becomes stronger, but physical attacks are half as powerful. White magic is unaffected. So our swords become a liability during a full moon? Not necessarily. Our attack power is halved, but that applies to monsters as well. What's more, my lord, you are gifted with white magic from Queen Rosa. If your attack just match the current, main, <laughs> current moon phase, then you will never be at a true disadvantage in battle. Now then, perhaps we could stay at the end until the full moon arrives. Okay, so if I want to sleep, I go to the end. Uh, looks like I didn't actually uh, load up the correct thing. So I believe I was supposed to have a buttload of money, right? I'll try that on the next uh, tale. Oh yeah, <laughs> all these uh, people in Mithril are small little dudes. Remember, you can save anywhere you want on the field map. That'll come in handy someday, believe me. In dungeons though, you're only allowed to save at special save points you'll find. I don't know if we're going to find any hidden items anywhere. It's a pig. Press M to turn to run and bam it's done. All together now press M to run and bam it's done. Don't you ever forget it man. Oops. Yeah I rarely run away from battles. Because, you know, I want the money experience, but sometimes it's, it is better to run. Again, very rare, but it does happen. Maybe it's because there's only one moon again, but tectonic activity has made this island a lot larger. Not that it's much compared to the big continents, of course. Yay, the tent. There's nothing else that way. I'm pretty sure I'm not... Well, obviously I can't buy anything because I only have 100 gil. When the battle gauge next to someone's name is filled up in battle, that means the character's turn is coming up next. But you got, but you still got options, of course. 
If another party member gauge is also full, try pressing tab, or in my case, a triangle on my controller. You'll let the other party member take their turn first. So it's funny they tell me all these tactics, but I already know them all. I'm pretty sure they told me about- ooh, Seedor is uh, not level 1 because of the uh, new game plus. Okay, I didn't even notice that. I was just looking at the money because what else do we care about but money? How about... Okay, at least armor and stuff is still the same, but Seedor is definitely higher level, I think. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to start at like a level 5 or something, like normal games. But yeah, new game plus data, baby. We'll see. Band slash. I forget what bands do. Yeah, I forgot a lot of the game mechanics. I think band is if you have a ally or an ally. I think there's like a band skill that you can choose. Let's see if I can see it. Yeah, right here. Band. And then, uh... I think you and a partner press band. And then they'll use the move that them team together would use. So that's pretty cool, actually. So it helps you, uh... strategize a little more if you know what, uh team compositions does what? How about the boss find a ring? What? We're the Mithril Brothers and we're ready to rock, baby! We would be anyways if I hadn't lost my precious ring. Maybe I dropped it while I was resting in the tall grass. Which help us find the boss's ring. Tall grass. Pretty sure it doesn't mean tall shrub. Fighting is fine and all, but sometimes the best way to survive is to turn tail and run. To flee, just press I think R1 on my controller. Let's find this dude's ring and go ahead and head out. Where your ring at? <coughs> Uh, potion. It's not a ring, though. There's some tall grass somewhere I need to search. Can't get back there. Maybe I don't care about this dude's tall ring. Or ring in the tall grass. Though I guess he would reward us if he found it. I think I went this way already. Still mashing, 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 mashing. I should probably also look at the uh, battle speed and stuff. Give me some tall grass. And I don't think this counts as tall grass, I think it's like a bush. Tall grass. This. That. Maybe it's just missing altogether. And or not in this village. I don't know. I guess I haven't seen a prompt in tall grass yet. At least. Uh. Well. Oh, here it is. There we go. Ruby ring. Will it give it back? Sure. Why not? I'm professional. Hey, hey, this is my ring. You actually found this for me? Thanks a bunch, man. I feel like a new pig. There's a little something for finding the ring. Go ahead, take it. <laughs> a little bit of money. Are you the guy from Baron who's here to become a knight and everything? The girl's home to some fearsome monsters. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. That should be okay. The Red Wings is the name of the fleet, right? Not the airships? Ha! I totally knew that. Welcome. Yeah, that's fine. What, I have a headband or something? 
Oh, I have no head. <laughs> no head. I have no helmet. I think I can leave without having a helmet. It's funny, uh, so in the original, or the first game, Mithril has Mithril weapons, but here we only have non. I don't think I really care about that. Has non mithril weapons, which is kind of funny. So I think normally you would use that money to, uh, oh, I'm supposed to stay at the end. And the inn. There was another guy who took the night trial once, someone with the same eyes as yours, but that was ages ago. The Red Wings are Baron's most elite airship fleet, right? I thought that was one heck of an airship there, but no wonder, huh? We wouldn't have had the spirit of peace without the selfless efforts of King Cecil and Queen Rosa and all their friends. <laughs> but let's not talk about them. Are you staying with us? Yep. So I'm gonna get some sleep and then go tackle that trial. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mithril. You know, it's like daytime. But then again, the moon phases are different than actual, like, day cycles. Captain Biggs is waiting for you at the grotto. Please hurry. Last chance to get a uh, better sword. Yeah, I might as well get it. <laughs> I was going to not do it, but I'm like, why not? We have the money. Let's get it. We have 50 uh, to spare. At least from the uh, 500 gil we just got. The other question is, do I have enough for the head, head thingy? Though it's weird because... Not having a helmet or whatever, you know, it gives us. So you see, there's a shield and there's like a white circle. The shield is regular defense, and the circle is magic defense. But if you put that helm on, it actually decreases your magic defense for some reason unknown. But I don't care because I have the money, so let's use. I think when I first played this, I actually wiped. Oh, that's actually evasion? Oh, okay. I was mistaken then. Mm, white is evasion, not uh, magic defense. I guess that's good to know, but at the same time, it's meh. Makes more sense, though, because, uh, you know, metal helmets slow you down, so. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and save in the second one, because you don't want to overwrite things. Okay. Let's do it. So it should be like super easy then, since I'm level 38. I would hope. Like, even to your own mission? Man, what a worthless squire they stuck me with. Damn. <laughs> Big shut up. We're about to begin our journey into the Adamant Isle Grotto. Not to repeat myself, but your orders are to obtain the King's Emblem. If you want to cut and run like the spoiled little prince you are, now's the time. Damn it, Biggs. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> oh, did that hurt, boy? Well, quit pouting and go get your provisions from these crates. Phoenix down. Ether. I'm not sure why they gave me a Phoenix down, because I can't res myself if I'm dead. But I'll take the other stuff. Okay. I can see... I can already see you becoming a violent soldier like your father, Prince Theodore. Prince Theodore, may you have the best of luck in battle. Finally found some resolve in you, huh boy? Get on with it then. Captain Biggs and Wedge have joined the party. And it's funny because, you know, this is a New Game Plus data, so I'm technically probably stronger than Biggs and Wedge. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Give me all that. Actually, I don't know. 
if Biggs and Wedge, yeah, Biggs and Wedge are master, or not master, but magic users. You're the one after the Knight's Emblem, aren't you? Well, keep your guard up in there. This should be a cinch. So they kept the uh, map thing. Uh, I think I'm just going to run. Oh, they didn't put a treasure chest on the map, though. Dang it. That's the one thing I do enjoy slash liked about the original. If the map was revealed, they showed where the treasure chests were. So I don't have to like go hunting around. But they took that away. It is time. Heh, here we go, Theodore. I think I just auto attack. I imagine you're already aware of how the phase of the moon can affect you on the battlefield. It's a full moon right now, so black magic is more powerful. White magic hasn't changed at all. But take a look at the commands. Physical attacks have been weakened by half. Uh, I skipped the thing. Command strength. Commands strengthened by the moon phase are displayed in green. While commands in blah blah blah. blah, blah. Oh well. Make sure to pay attention to these colors during battles. They could have a major impact on the outcome of the fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just auto attack and you guys can go eat some dust. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Actually, I wonder if. So, no. So, we don't keep any of the items from before. <coughs> fighting some more. It also looks like there's no auto battle button, or maybe it's a different button. Oh, I should probably do uh, AOE magic though. Next, I'll tell you about band moves. A band is a type of multi person technique. You cannot perform a band with someone unless you have some kind of bond with that person. Deep bonds. Yes, my lord. Allow myself and Captain Biggs to demonstrate how to band. Let me walk you through the basics behind a band. Well, it's my turn. Select the band command. Next, pick the band ability you want to use. Let's try band together. Biggs and I will use a Vibra Edge. Vibra Edge. Oh, it looks like you only have to select it for one of them, and then they'll both channel it. Bam! Nice, nice. Some sick moves, Biggs and Wedge. Too fast for you to see? No, I saw that. I saw that. Let me check the settings real quick. Music and stay on, that's fine. Battle mode, stay active. Remember, thank you. Battle speed, fast. I can slow it down a little bit. Uh, let's have a different window design than what we had last time. Yeah, let's keep it green. I believe it was blue. Or I guess it's purple color. Let's just keep it green. All right. So they added the uh, remember feature, which again leaves the cursor where it needs to be. Yeah, so I probably should just auto attacked. Treasure contained a potion. It's kind of funny how they put that little statement there now. The treasure contains whatever. Because before it just says obtained a whatever. But I guess they just want to be super thorough. Oh, now there's auto battle. Oh. But the auto battle stuck to uh, remember. So what we did last, they're going to do it again. So I just wasted uh, some MP there. No treasure chest, I got gypped. Hmm. I guess these goblins are super slow because they didn't do nothing.
But yeah, Theodore is definitely not <laughs> leveling up. At least he should not level up. And during this uh, portion of it. Ether. It's just auto attack. Whoops. <laughs> I'm so used to Final Fantasy uh, 4 regular that I'm not used to this memory thing. Whether you remember where your cursor was last. I'm just gonna play a little bit now, get acclimated to it. Now Grotto B2. Okay, Theodore, it's all yours from here. A what? Don't worry, Prince Theodore. Remember, you have the blood of King Cecil land. That has nothing to do with it. Prince Theodore. Looks like you have at least half a backbone in you. Get back here alive or forget about making the Red Wings. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Big so uh, heartless. Yes, sir. But again, you know, you have to be hard, otherwise you can't really have, like, a soldier who's kind of like a wimp or baby. Based on which, I've left the party. It's also interesting that they leave your party. I should be taking one damage from these guys, if they even get to attack. Pseudo might just be too fast. Fake. I'm sure you can do it, Prince Theodore. Get back here alive and forget about making the red wings. I'm just trying to minimize my encounters and still. I should really just skip all treasures. I don't really need it. Oh, it's a save hole. <laughs> save hole. It's a save uh, spot. Should be able to rush to the end here. I wonder if originally the map was uh, not searched, but because again I'm using save data, they uh, filled out the maps for me. Yeah, I wish Theodore had an AOE move, but he does not. <laughs> he looks so funny. He's a little shrimpy kid. I also do like how when you do auto battle, it does speed up the game a little bit. In the original, I didn't do that. It just auto selected. Uh, your move, but it didn't speed up time. And still no uh, items. Wouldn't be so bad if they uh, again put it on the map for me. I guess they just want us to uh, explore a little bit more. There's no treasure up there. Is there one here? Probably, right? I kind of didn't see one though. Oh, there was one. Bomb Fragmento. I feel like we're just too fast <laughs> for all these enemies. I feel like I'm just going to be auto attacking throughout this whole dungeon. You know, he might get one level at this rate. Maybe. I think last I saw it needed like 3,000 something. So it wouldn't surprise me if I do get at least one level. But we'll see momentarily, I guess. Especially if I keep uh, exploring and finding stuff. 
encountering enemies. Yeah, I think I definitely wiped before in my first playthrough. Because again, fighting all these enemies by yourself is horrible. Now I wonder if um, throwing items counts as magic, because bomb core and the Antarctic one counts as casting a spell. If you're not a magic caster, you can use those instead, and they will cast the appropriate spell. So I kind of just instinctively went this way because there was a little dip in the map, but I didn't think there was a secret passage. Ooh, iron gloves! Until I saw that there was like a hole in the wall. Well, the agent—I <laughs> say the agent, the evasion continuously decreases as I equip more metal items. At least the speed didn't slow down. I think even if I wasn't over leveled or whatever, I would have still auto attacked. Regardless. I think you want to go down, right? Because I think these guys actually have like 30 HP, or give or take, in that realm. Not 100 to 200. 300. <laughs> Oh, it's the end. Whoops. The safe spot was above. Oh no. Oh, that's probably it, huh? The Knight's Emblem. Let's go back real quick. Pretty sure that was a save room. In the other spot. This save or this uh, Knight's Crystal. Wow, after these messages. Nightcrest. Oh no, we got a boss. Do, 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 do. I think I'm just gonna keep auto attacking. Cause again, I'm probably doing like 150 damage, 170. 
probably get like three or four attacks in before he gets to do one. I just die before I even get hit. Yeah, Cedar. Uh oh. Is that do regular? Oh. Scripted battles. I see. Cedar, are you hurt? Stay back, please. This is, this is my battle to fight. You don't have to push yourself so hard. My father and my mother have nothing to do with this. I, I, I'll get through this by myself. Let me heal though. Sira's latent potential has awakened rage mode. Oh, he healed too. Yep. Oh, now he's doing 360. It's double damage pretty much. Oh, damn. You got rage mode activated. <laughs> I'm not my father. Father. <laughs> nice. Tain Knight's emblem. Good old scripted uh, situations. Cedar learned Awaken. I wonder if Awaken is like darkness. In the dark, or the, yeah, the dark knight's ability. <laughs> Prince Theodore. Wedge. Gura. Yeah. Thank you very. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's faints, but then it gets like resurrected right away. I knew you could do it, Prince Theodore. You have amazing guitars hidden inside you. Now you're a full fledged knight, my lord. Oh, yeah. And you doubted me, Mr. Biggs bastard. I <laughs> oh, work well, done. Let's get out of here. Captain Biggs and Wedge have joined the party. You're gonna make me run all the way out. Yep. It's interesting because, like, if I can get here all by myself, I can get out all by myself. But, I guess the game is being nice to us. What if I am I even close to leveling up? Actually, I am. So maybe I will get a level before this chapter is done. I really don't know how long this chapter is going to be, actually. I think there is uh, quite a bit. This is only, again, the opening sequence, so. I want to say each uh, little tale is about three or four hours. Maybe a little faster now that uh, you know, we're overleveled and stuff, but. We go if I had like emergency exit or something. Or teleport. And we don't. <laughs> yeah, teleport would have been nice. You just get the heck out of here. I believe in the beginning you only get Libra and Cure. But since I'm level 38, of course I get all these uh, nice white magic skills. Skip the save and just keep going. Just get us out. That's where they abandoned us <laughs> the first time. Bigs and Wedge. Mainly Bigs. Mm. 
unnecessarily, uh, what's that word? Um, abrasive. High potion. So again, it's interesting that a lot of these levels are very small. The thing is, like, we explore and then also have all these enemy encounters. This is what causes it to be longer than uh, usual or necessary. But because we are, again, over leveled, it uh, doesn't really matter. We just plow right through. And honestly, because um, the Theodore doesn't have um, any other real moves besides just attacking, then I would have auto attacked anyways. Um, which Captain Biggs, thank you, thank you for everything. <laughs> Bitch just walks away. Which doesn't give a crap either. Captain Biggs. Oh, controller and plug in. I'm expecting nothing less from you, Prince Theodore. Huh? We must hurry to the airship. We'll get an earful if we're late again. Biggs has left the party. He doesn't give a crap about us. Alright, let's get out of here. I can save. Oh, we're just down the party though. He hasn't abandoned this last yet. Alright, let's get out of here, bros. I've talked to you before. Congratulations, Prince Theodore. Are you ready to turn to Baron Castle? Yes. Let's go. Do do do. I assume still no voice acting. How does it feel, Theodore? Sir? How does it feel to be a knight? I, I'm not sure what to say, sir. Of course you aren't. The knight's emblem is just a name. You risked your life in there to obtain a mummified rat tail. Have you figured out yet, boy? You don't become a knight just because you obtained the emblem. Your achievement was simply a test of your resolve. You've only arrived at the start of your journey. There's yet a long road ahead before you truly belong to the Red Wings. Yes, sir. Amazing, Prince Theodore. I can't wait to see you become a paladin and follow in your father's footsteps. I haven't made up my mind about becoming a paladin yet. Why not, my lord? With the blood from King Cecil and Queen Rosa, surely you could be... It could be attack! Calm down, soldier. You call yourself a knight of the Red Wings? But, Captain, we have monsters. Countless swarms of them. Nani? <laughs> Nani? Here they come. Brace yourself, Theodore. Yeah, I'm not worried about it all, at all. Ouch. Go ahead and use Band then, if you guys aren't going to die very quickly. Let's awaken too. Open the gates, Theodore. Vibra Edgy. That did not kill him. It's okay. I think it also healed, right? Healed, uh, Theodore. Oh. Do it again. Wow. Ah. Ouch. Oh, and this time, uh, looks like we can still do stuff. Or, like, the bar still fills while we're doing actions. 
And before I've allied it actions. Oh, never mind. It's Rose. <laughs> I was about to say. When allies do functions or moves, our bar stop, but if the enemy did stuff. Oh, yeah. Give me those stats. That's green. Green gargoyles. There could be so many of them. Smoke is coming from Baron's direction. From Baron? Full speed ahead! It's Prince Theodore! Biggs is defeated. Or Wedge, I think. That was Wedge. Maybe Biggs. I don't know. King Baron, Cecil Harvey. Queen of Baron, Rosa Joanna Farrell. So I didn't even know their last names. They never really. Did they say in the last game? I don't remember. My liege, a large horde of monsters is headed this way. What? But their numbers were supposed to be dwindling. You stay here, Rosa. Protect Rosa for me. Yes, sir. Cecil. Don't worry about me. Just stay right here for me. Where are they coming from? We don't know, sir. There's so many of them. All of you, stay on your guard right here. Yes, sir. We'll guard the throne with our lives, sir. What? Does he have Excalibur? He's definitely super leveled. Oh, yeah! Nice. This is only half power, too. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I don't know what Cecil has, like, gear wise. Definitely looks good, though. They've already made their way inside the castle. Get my equipment. Let's see, this is level 75. King Sword. I forget if he actually is this level, like, even on a new game. Uh, where am I going? Outside? Oh. Wait, wait, what do you say? Do this in our hands, your majesty. Said has joined the ranks, moving to repel the fiends. Please, your majesty, see yourself to battle with all haste. Oh. Guess I have to go this way, then. Are there items back here again? Yes, there is. Decoy. Phoenix down. Yeah, I think we yeah we keep all the items that we got with uh, Seodor. It's pretty nice. You know that should not be the case, but it is what it is. Script battles. Ka-ching. I believe this guy actually uh, can petrify me. But they're too slow to move. Get out of the Lord's way. Dirty beasts. Aha! Aha! Ah. Aha! The castle gate is secured, and yet monsters are within the keep. You know, that'd be cool if they read our save file for Final Fantasy IV. And so, it's broken, it won't budge. And so, uh... Like, whatever level Cecil left off in Final Fantasy IV, they would bring it over here. Oh no, oh, where the monster's coming from? Sid, where you is at? Little oh, bombs. Hey, yeah. Oh, 
Like, where am I? More items. How many sandals? High potion. Good, fine. I think it's supposed to go down, but I'm gonna go up. Cause there's more items. Echo herbs. Heavenly wrath. Bacchus swine. Random encounter. High potion. Oh. Ah. It's an ogre. Get him from behind. Yeah. Headband. Do 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 do. Get inside the keep. It's too dangerous here. Yes, my leash. I don't think I really need more attack, but whatever. Oh, time actually changed. I mean, the moon phase actually changed. Bomb crank. So that was definitely just a side little mission thing for items. Wait, I'm going the right way. So I'll figure out in a second. Hedgehog. Yeah. Hiya. And hiya. I definitely went in a circle. It's okay. So we can auto attack to victory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Looks like that piece of armor had something randomly. I didn't even check the other suits, but I don't think I really care. If they're just gonna be like these regular items, then it's whatever. Wait. Okay, I'm super lost then. Where are we going? Because there's nothing in that keep. But then I went over to the one area to go to the chair or the throne of some sort, but there's nothing there. I'm supposed to find Sid, but I don't know where the heck he is. It's usually in the West Keep side. I don't know if I can get there. Uh, let's see. Uh, doesn't tell me things. So that's back where I came. Huh. Did I miss a turn or something? Alright, so going up is not the answer. I think going down is also not the answer. I'm confused. Is there some secret way I'm supposed to go? Oh, random zombies. I'm also surprised Lustre's Sword does, or King's Blade does not do holy damage. But I guess. Makes sense, I guess. I don't know. No spot in this room. No point in this room. Uh, 
try going back up again, but that's not gonna do anything. What if it's just a wild goose chase? Like I was supposed to just come up here to save that girl on the top floor. And then go back and go to the other sides. That's a Lamia it is dead. Try going outside again. Let's try go. Uh, try going different. Oh, that's a lot of you fools. It's okay. We can just auto attack all of them. They only do one damage to me, probably. Back the way I came. So I probably just went the wrong way. But it doesn't make sense why there would be a safe spot if it was the wrong way. So I know I definitely want to go to the west side. Okay, so it was a wild goose chase. Uh, 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 are you okay? I, I'm sorry, my leash. Oh, it's a Hector Clear or something, something. Centaur Knight. I think, like, the boss version of it. Yeah, I can't really pronounce it, but. It's... Meh. <laughs> uh oh. Cecil. Rosa, I'm coming with you. No, you can't. I will not let you put yourself in danger. That's what I'd like to say to you, Cecil. Would having a white mage by your side help you devote your full attention to fighting? This is how uh, <laughs> she smuggled into the final fight when we went to the moon in the previous game. Fair enough, but I want you to make me a promise. If worse comes to worse, I want you to run. Run and survive. And leave you to die? Yes, for Theodore's sake. I will. White Mage Rosa has joined the party. It's a for her son. That's a nice uh, thumbnail of her. And she actually has a staff this time. No, uh. Oh, she's a higher level than us. What? <laughs> what? How did this happen? I guess that's the way they want it to happen, I guess. Anywho, let's go move forward. Oh. So that's what it was. The monsters came from the air. Well, I mean, we already fought like gargoyles and stuff. See, so look, the moon. Oh, back to two moons. That's why the monsters are coming back. Oh, it's Rydia. Oh, it's Yang and his daughter. Spoiler. Edward and some council lady. I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> Pal and Polum. Power and Poro. Who the hell are you? <laughs> who are these people? That's Edge. Who's. Don't know who that pink haired girl was. Is that Golbez's. Why now of all times? 
Man, that chord. <laughs> it's that moon song. Sid. Oh. Sid got a makeover too. Sid Polandina. So he's definitely not Rosa's dad. I always thought he was. You're damn late, Cecil. What have you been doing this whole time? I'm glad to see you safe, Sid. Of course I am. I haven't slowed down that much, you know. What I'd like to know, though, is where these monsters came out or came from out of the blue. I wish I knew. Where's Theodore? He's on an expedition with the Red Wings to obtain the Knight's emblem. He ain't back yet? There's no need to worry. Base is there to take care of him. Well, then I guess we'd better do something about this place of ours. Wouldn't want to spoil his celebration banquet. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's flexing so hard, he's shaking. Sid. So funny. Let's look at Sid. Oh, he's on level 30. What? I wonder if it's because this is almost the only time we use him. I don't know. Let's just go up to Cecil's old room. I don't know if he still is... uh sleeping up here I guess that uh, I don't see why I wouldn't why he wouldn't oh yeah now they got three beds I love how they're just like side by side like that I don't know if I would arrange beds like that it's also funny uh, Cecil and Rosa doesn't share one big old bed like uh, normal married people but that's just me. Alright. Oh, that's random. Oh, it's infirmary, probably. Just gonna pop a save. So now we have all the party members. Alright. Let's see what kind of fight this is. The castle gate has not been breached. That means they must have flown in. Here they come! Do 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 yep, We auto attacking. I know Rosa can't auto attack for a kill, but oh wow, she does a lot of damage though. I guess because she's uh, level seventy-eight. If she had a bow, that'd be much better. But we don't have a bow. See, so these guys are like nothing we fought before. Uh, what? <laughs> we definitely fought one of those last time. Meaning, in the other game. I should have attacked the main bat. Bats. Yeah, we definitely fought one of you. You can get sh hit in the face. So what do you mean we didn't fight one of those before? That's like all I was fighting in the last game. Or in the last like video of my walkthrough. There's just no end to this. Whoa, it's a red zoo. Let's have a oh. Oh, this is berserk Cecil. <laughs> He's like, I'm angry. Get out of my castle. <laughs> Cecil didn't even let uh, Rosa bless us. Ex Chaser. Interesting. Not sure why I haven't learned that before, actually. I think about it. Sid, I have got a favor to ask. I'm listening. I want you to take Rosa and get the out of this castle. <laughs> so I was to say get the hell out of this castle, but get out of this castle. See you soon. Baron will fall before long if this continues. See you soon. Not like this. I had to go down with the ship. I'm staying with you. These are the king's orders, Rosa. Take care of Caesar. 
Oh, brother. You always have to be so darn stubborn. I'm counting on you, Sid. Please. Leave it to me. Just make sure you don't get yourself killed. Got it? I think normally they would like kiss goodbye, but I guess this is a family game, <laughs> so we can't have all that stuff in here. Rosa and Sif left the party. Rosa, Theodore's in your hands now, my dear. I don't know what that was. Looked like uh, was a death gaze. Oh, Bahamut! It was Bahamut. Bahamut. Oh. Not quite Bahamut. Oh yeah. Got some dark Bahamut. <laughs> oh! Rydia. Wait, no. Not Rydia. Mysterious girl. So you're Cecil. You know who I am? Uh oh. I think. I'm pretty sure it's scripted, so. I will cast shell on myself. Which I don't have. Okay, we just auto attacking then until he kills me with something. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have shell and protect? Four. I think I'm gonna do enough damage for her. He does make a flare. I'm gonna defend before he does make a flare, but. One. Let me block. Uh, 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 scripted. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> they just told me not to get myself killed. So this is the limit of a half breed, as expected. So she's a full blown lunarian. Moon girl, this feeling, it couldn't be that my father. Maximum speed, I don't care if we blow the engine to pieces. We're already beyond maximum output, Captain. We, we've gone of course. Oh, I guess Big Snow Wedge didn't get hit. Kick with damage to the right wing, we've lost control. Ah, <laughs> Prince Theodore. No. Now that's Rydia, Chamber of the Idolian King. If we remember from Final Fantasy IV, the first game, that is Leviathan on the left and Ashura on the right. What is it? No, my dear Rydia, you must leave here at once. What? Why all of a sudden? There's nothing to fear. Damn, straight teleport out of here. It's because... What do you want? The Lunarian has arrived. She crazy? Your power. I'm here to take it. We'll see about that. Bahama is already under our control. The Hallowed Father of the Idolans? Who are you? <laughs> About to give him that destructo disc. <laughs> oh damn, petrified. Petrified. She is not playing. I do like Edge's new uh, take or uh, costume. Tower of Babel, it's back. I didn't realize actually he went away. 
After the first game, I mean. It's super red this time, though. Dwarven Castle. Oh, look at Luca. That's the Dwarven King's daughter right there on the right. King Giot, Tower of Babel. It's. What? It's turning red. That's what's happening. Yeah, Luca. She grew up and now she has actual face. Because before she was just wearing like his like hood or something like that. Oh no, the Red Wings. Oof. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, Captain Biggs, Captain Biggs, you put your life on the line for me. If I, if I were more of a soldier, you wouldn't be like this now, Captain Biggs. Well, normally you would like cast rays or something. Granted, you know, this was supposed to be early in the game, you're not supposed to have those spells, so I guess it's okay. Though I do have a phoenix down. I did get that from the uh, cave, but uh, hang, hang in there. He's dead. But Wedge, he's dead too. Wedge. Good thing it's a kid's game, otherwise. <laughs> Just have them like impaled on something. They're dead, all of them. <laughs> Give this man a potion. Huh? Can you just like cast cure on him? He's still alive. Prince Theodore, you're unharmed, aren't you? Stop talking, I'll go find someone to help. Anyone, help. Sorry, I couldn't get you back to Baron safely, my prince. Captain Biggs. You're rude to me, but it's okay, you're dying. Now go, hurry, away from here. I can't do that, Captain Biggs. I'm I'm still just a squire. You can't expect me to. I can't do it on my own. Just a squire? Say so, wait, you're a knight now. We are the Red Bear or the Red Wings, the Pride of Baron. Must we now be thieves sent to plunder from the weak? Enough. Oh, I forgot that they were big, bigs and wedge. But Captain, the Mercedians offered no resistance and still we cut them down. <laughs> Cedar, listen to me. You must return to our beloved Baron, no matter what the cost. This is my final order. Yes, sir. Good. That's what it means to be a Knight of the Red Wings. Yes, sir. You are the last of the Red Wings, Theodore. We, the Red Wings, are the greatest airship fleet in the skies. The pride of Baron. My orders are the law to you. The Theodore. No. I, Cedar of the Red Wings of Baron, will now return to Baron, sir. Meadow. Something's definitely afoot. Too easy. Oh, one of these guys. Firehound or something like that. Flamehound. It's okay. Just a couple of auto attacks should be enough. Oh, this is a script too.
scripted. I am a member of the Red Wings. I can't let it end like this. Ninja. Hooded man, still alive? Yes, thank you. Are you all right? You didn't look completely useless back there, but taking on a monster like that is suicidal. I, I can do it. I must get back to Baron, no matter the cost. He's <laughs> just limping away. With no airship. Yes, even with no airship. I'm a member of the Red Wings of Baron. I don't need an airship to lay claim to that. Ah. You've heard of them. Who hasn't heard of them would be a better question. That's the most famous unit in Baron's military. You'd best be careful, though. The monsters are restless ever since the trouble. Trouble? Don't tell me you didn't know, or you don't know. The war that raged across this land once. Yes, I know now. My mother and father have often told me about it. We can reach Baron from Mesidia in the west. Is there a ship there? Something even better than that. I'll show you the way. Are you sure? I have business of my own in Baron. Urgent business. I, my name is Theodore. I don't have a name. No, I abandoned it long ago. Huh? Aren't you in a hurry? Mm-hmm. Let's go. The hooded man has joined the party. Oh, not my ship. My sheep. My sheep. Okay. Let's go to Mesidia. Mesidia is... Yeah, it's to the left right here. I remember from uh, my previous playthroughs. I wonder if Pal and Porum are in here. Should be, right? The Hall of Prayer at, is at the north end of town. Someone there can break the seal for us. The seal? Yes, the seal blocking the way to Devil's Road. Devil's Road? Yep, that's, uh, well, we actually didn't take it, uh, at least Cecil didn't take it the first part of the game where, uh, he went to take the crystal away from Mesidia. Let's talk to this high priest man, dude. But that's not high priest man, dude. This is. This is Porum. Uh, pardon me, is there anyone here who can unseal the Devil's Road for us? Someone who knows of the Devil's Road? Who are you? I am seared or the Red Wings of Baron. So you are. Heavens, you've certainly grown, haven't you? You know me? Of course you don't remember me. We haven't met since you were a very, very young child. So you are... It's Porum. I am Porum, White Mage of Mesidia. See, Super Guru. <laughs> since the original game. So, uh, what, is this like 10 years later? You're poor? My parents have told me so much about you. So why do you want to use the Devil's Road? You said you were with the Red Wings. Did you not come here by airship? It was brought down by a horde of monsters. Smoke is coming from Baron's direction. <gasps> I knew it. That would explain the unease I've been feeling lately. Hey, you guys, could you come down here, please? <laughs> White and black mage. Did you call for me? Who are these people? We want to take the Devil's Road back to Baron. The white mage here knows how to open the seal. Thank you very much. But I must warn you that the pathway wasn't named Devil's Road for humor's sake. It'll be tough path to traverse by yourselves I fear so I'd go with you but I can't leave the hollow prayer empty right now these two mages will accompany you instead oh <laughs> dang it thank you please take care and send Cecil and Rosa my regards 
I will. <laughs> so he has some generic black and white mages. It's kind of funny. Before it was a uh, pal and porum, but now she has to stay, and she just <laughs> gives us some random black and white mage. Hmm. And you would be. I am nobody and everybody. <laughs> no one you know, I should think. Let's go, Theodore. Well, I really don't know because there's no voice acting. Hmm. Though, I don't know. I guess you would like. Oh, the elder. It's you, Theodore. You've grown into such a fine man. Me? Oh, don't worry. I'm not that bad quite yet. I'm more concerned about you. Please be careful. The moon is too once more. You must hurry to Cecil's side. Elder South has been taking a turn for the worse. It would be great, greatly appreciated if you could keep quiet. Yeah, so that's the Elder that uh, sent us on our Paladin journey in the first game. Be careful, Cedar. Please give my guards to Cephas and everybody. Is there anything up here? It's a crystal, but. Same thing up here. Prayer DS. Dias? Days. <laughs> Just kidding. Second moon. Blah 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 blah. Oh. Just changed the uh, date on me. I wonder if it's like scripted to be like time based, or is it like so many encounters or dialogues? I don't know. Cause that seemed pretty specific. Cause I like just talked to that black mage and then it turned to a different time. Alright, this should be Devil's Road. Devil's Road is a path that transcends dimensions and puts you face to face with evil itself. Those who dare to set foot on it must be prepared to pay the ultimate price for their carriage. Uh, I think normally I would shop, right? Let's check, check the shop. And I think because... Welcome to the city, a sacred ground for all mages. I think because the white and black mages are temporary, because again they're like nameless people. Palm is the greatest black mage in all of Mysidia, but if you ask me, he's not exactly the most pleasant person to be around. Yep, he's a cocky little kid. Yeah, there's really no point of getting anything. Shit, that's pretty good. Because it increases evasion. By sacrificing one defense. That's pretty good. I sacrificed too much defense. So let's just keep that. Oh, yeah, it's because I took it off of uh, Cecil. That's kind of funny. What did I give him instead? I think a headband or something, right? It's pretty cool. So now I'm starting to have this like super good <laughs> helmet because I took it off of Cecil. That's funny. So I wonder if I had taken off everything, <laughs> I would have been able to equip it to Cecil or uh, Theodore. Let's see if it's a better weapon. Rumor has it that a dragoon is holed up in the Mount Ordeals over to the east, and we know who that is. Used to cast a Blizzard. Oh, so I think they kept this uh, from. Uh, the old uh, Final Fantasy 3. So instead of equipping it, we can actually use it as an item onto an enemy. And it would count as something, something. Something, something. Uh, let's see. I think I want to keep these guys as. Used to cast Poisona. Poisona is uh, it heals obviously poison. Yeah, I'm gonna test this out actually now that I've got some stuff. I should probably. Oh, mm. I got probably shouldn't really care too much actually. But I just want to test it out, see if they actually brought that mechanic back. So if you're a mage, you can just use... Oh. 
the rod itself as an item and it will cast the particular spell. I will now release the seal. Please stand back. Abracadabra, son. Spell. Yep, that's dispel. The Devil's Road seal has been released. Let us continue inside. Let go. Oh, so this is actual like dungeon. Because <clears throat> before it was just like a straight path, and we didn't have to like do this part. Wait a man, it's fast as hell. Let's just attack. Actually, I was supposed to test the rod thingy thingy. Tink. Oh, miss. Do, 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 do. Bomb fragmental. Cannot use it. Hmm. Interesting. Pow. Slapped. Oh, silence. Was that sap? So it looks like I cannot use the rod the way I want it to. Use to cast fire. Because hmm. that was not an option to use. Which is kind of strange, actually. So I'm going to try it now that I equipped it. We are totally in a different area. Oh, so many enemies. Oh, yeah. I'm probably sure I use regular fire. Nope, that is perfect. Oh. Alright, I definitely gotta use uh, black magic then. Uh, it's yellow, so let's use thunder. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unnecessary huge amounts of damage. I'm just going to use the regular attack. Use regular fire. Slash mastered. Nice. Siege is surplus. There's surplus. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. Falcian. Okay, so I guess I didn't really need to buy the uh, Gaia gear. That's okay. So I guess I just need to keep going forward like to the next teleporter to get uh, all the items. Oh. This is a dead end unnecessarily. Okay, yeah. I, I was thinking I'll still take it to this particular room with all the chests. Just get out of here. Ah, oh, the guy zigzag too much. Thirty <laughs> man so fast. Too fast. out of here. I think there's one more teleporter. Yeah, before the actual exit. Either this one or the next one should take us to the last spot. And there are some uh, chests there, but I don't think I really care. Back up Aaron now, I think. Unless there's another half of the maze. Sort of. I don't know how I feel about this. I oh, can't backtrack. Headman just ha <laughs> moves so fast that. Just auto attack everything before the mages even get to play. Oh, they did not do enough. I think it's cast fire, which is good actually. Fire good. Pretty sure there's supposed to be items, but again, I don't really care, really. 
Ah, I'm over level and stuff. I kind of wish again I, I could have kept the money. Because then, if I didn't miss things in the dungeons, I could at least buy it later. At least the next tier up pretty soundly. Without worrying too much about uh, finances. How do you know how they decide to go one way or the other way? Or if it's just all random? matter like where I go if I'm gonna get there eventually it's just how much do I have to backtrack and or fight things all right finally on the other side isn't there supposed to be a downstairs hmm. maybe I'm crazy there's a prince in the castle who's just about to come of age wait are you King Cecil has ushered yeah, an era of peace and tranquility to our nation. Shame that his dear friend Sir Kane is not here to enjoy it. Yeah, because he has to go purge in his darkness because he done almost sabotaged everything. Oh, wait. Sign reads, authorized person not only. Doors open. <laughs> okay, give me... Off you go, sir. Oh. It's like, but I want... I want the goods. The goods. Iron sword. Crossable. Oh, he can pretty much like use anything. <laughs> Crossbow, longsword. He don't care. If I can get the other one. Could you sign with interest? I'm sorry, but I can't let you go beyond here. Off you go, sir. Hmm. Guess I can get those till later. Whatever they are. Oh, jeez. Hey, you, could you quit standing there, please? I'm trying to get some sun. Uh, <laughs> I think you're doing it wrong, lady. So, I think in the other game, there are supposed to be items in this little water area. Yep, an Arctic Wind, Spider Silk. Anything else? No. Just invisible walls for no reason. Alright, let's go ahead and get to Baron, see what's up with Cecil, with Daddy. Oh, can I go up here? No. Alright. You know Sid, the airship engineer? His house is in the northwest corner of the village. Come to think of it, we haven't seen him lately. His daughter is beside herself worry, or with worry. So we actually check up on her real quick. Just because I'm a nice guy. It's not the house, but I just want to go inside anyways. Oh, this is Devil's Road. I'm dumb. Up here. This is his daughter. Oh. Where could my father be? Oh, she never grew up. He hasn't been back ever since that attack. I figure he's just tinkering with his airship again. But still. That's why the husband. I have to say, I'm worried. The man's not exactly young anymore. He'd be livid if you heard me say that, but... And they have a kid. <laughs> have you seen my granddad? He promised me we'd go on an airship voyage once you got back. Okay. I don't think there's anything in here worth getting. Right now, let's go to Baron Castle. 
Let's see. Oh, I'm like not even looking at the map to get out correctly. All right. No one may pass. Orders from the king. It's me, Theodore. No one may pass. Orders from the king. Can't you see who I am? Let's go, Theodore. Huh? Yeah, I think I'm about to take a certain path. We're wasting our time here. I'll take a certain path to uh get inside. Which is the same path we took in the first game. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Those guards were strange, so pale. And what's more, they didn't even recognize me. Just like before. Hmm? We can sneak into the castle through the waterway in the town. You seem to know a lot about this, but isn't the way locked? Locked? Someone has ha got to have a key, right? Right. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. How are you? I was thinking about visiting Mist a little bit earlier. The cave's been closed off by Baronian soldiers, though. And they refuse to let me through. Baronian? The door is locked. Mm. Do you have the key? Oh, Prince Theodore, the waterway key? I'm holding on to it for my father, actually. Woohoo! How convenient. So I guess I came here a little earlier than necessary, so. Alright, let's go ahead and use this little side door. <laughs> How convenient. Alright. Of course, we gotta. Uh, of course, we gotta auto attack. Oh. You know, the mage, black mage is on uh, fire, which is not good. Yeah, I better turn auto attack off so I can change it from not using fire to probably electricity. And if I do remember correctly, these uh, enemies are the same from last time. And they should be, to be honest. And to be even more honest, I should again not really care about the items. Because a lot of them are just like support items anyways, like healing or restoring from a status ailment, stuff like that. These are Electrofish, I think they're weak against ice. I think they're all weak against ice actually. But it don't matter because Mage is too slow. I think that is another reason why all the maps have been revealed. It's because we've been through this once in the old game, so why, like, uh, cover the map up? Oh, you did not die in one hit. How dareth you? You just attack a twice in a row. I call that a BS. Ancient waterway B3. Oh yeah. I don't really care about getting items. There's no items here anyways. I should probably just worry about getting out of here. Not fighting too much, you know. I'm stuck on this corner here for these textures. Let's get out of here. 
The less I have to fight, the better. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, snaps. I don't really care if they get KO'd. That's some damage, though. Can't the uh, mages actually level up? No, they actually maxed out at level 10. <laughs> That's why you always... Oh, they'll never become uh, main characters. They'll always be side characters. Because they're weak. Forever weak at that. Put item box in here. I knew it. Soma drop. Oh yeah, I've gotten so many of those in the uh, Final Fantasy IV. They increase your mana uh, pool, and then golden apples and stuff maximize your uh, your uh, HP pool. But again, it's not like I really use any of it, so. It's funny how the Hooded Man is like super leveled compared to us. And again, I want to get, I wonder if his level is connected to the character he actually is, which I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed already that he's very suspicious on why he knows so much about everything. Real question is, which old character is he? Because there were a couple blonde ones actually. But we'll see. Oh, you didn't die. I hate that. It's like, I'm supposed to be breezing through this, but. Cedar is still not super leveled. He's a. Uh, Somewhat super leveled. He's also minied. Mm. So those who don't know, mini not only does it make you small, but it makes you very susceptible to physical damage because you're tiny. It also makes your physical attacks only do one point of damage. I think that's even regardless on how strong you are. But yeah, there's like no theme song. But it's very quiet. Father, mother, Theodore, your parents are in the castle. Yes. Hmm. What are their names? My father's name is Cecil, and my mother is Rosa. <gasps> What's wrong? No. Nothing. Is it all this time? I'm going ahead to check up on them. Pretty sure we know who he is now. Wait. What is it? Watch yourself. I will. Theodore has left the party. But I want Theodore. Like a teleport back home. Um, what is it? Well, our mission was only to accompany you on your way to Baron. Yeah, that's right. But something bad is brewing as we speak. We need to bring word of this crisis to Mesidia. I understand. Thank you for the help you gave me. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just run away. Run, run. The white and black mage have left the party too. Jeez, now the hood man's all by himself. Mm hmm? Someone's voice, I can barely hear it. What if it's Rosa? Well, someone's in dungeon, actually. What on? 
Wow, all these. It's not opening. All these guards are in the dungeon. Cedar is in danger. I need to hurry. So quiet. <laughs> so at first I thought it was like one of the main characters actually locked up in here, but it kind of doesn't, doesn't make sense that that would happen. But gotta find a way to the throne room. I can't remember if the save point was here the first time we were in the castle. I think it was actually. Actually, it was. Yeah. Oh. Wait. What? <laughs> I went the wrong way. At least there's no encounters. That's nice. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to go in here. Not over there. Where should. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it is uh, timed. Like in game time. No change, uh, moon phases. It was like, I can't really tell what the timing is, but. Alright, let's go check him on Cedar because he's about to get his nuts rocked. Uh, <laughs> oh wait. Where is everybody? Who's there? Wow. <laughs> Cesar just appeared out of nowhere. You're all right. Of course I am. I need to be a baron is going to continue keeping the peace in this world. You've changed. Do I know you? If you're just gonna, er, if you're just a straight beggar, then please leave immediately. I'm a very busy man. As he just chills there on this big old throne. <laughs> Pardon me. I think he's Kane. There's no one here. Yeah, looks like it. They... Did the monsters get them at all? Or get them all? Looks to be that way. I couldn't even find Sid's airship, the Enterprise. You didn't. Let's just pray he got out safely. I hope so. Now is not the time to dawdle. Cedar has joined the party. The question is, are we getting the hell out of here? Or are we going back to the throne room? Let's go check up on daddy. What's up, daddy? Daddy? No, it better be... It better for Cedar if he didn't see Cecil in his current state. Yeah, you can tell something's wrong with Cecil. Especially since we already saw that uh, Cecil got his butt whooped. Because of Bahamut. Yeah, I guess. I wonder if we just walk out the castle. Like, through the front door. We have to go through the waterway again. How did you get in there? Leave now. Uh, we're leaving, bros. So, what are you planning to do now? I'm going to look for the Enterprise. I see. What about you? Your orders, my liege. There was an uninvited guest here earlier. I don't know how he got in, but he did. Our orders then. 
I've never met the man before, but there was something about him. Go after him. The Kingdom of Baron must protect the world's peace. Understood, Your Majesty. <laughs> Love how like kings do that and stuff like that. Just like wave their arms and things happen. Looks like our stay here has been cut short. Huh? We got some soldiers coming after us. Come, let's go. Go where? We're going northwest to Mist Cave. Hurry! You learned the cross slash band. Wait. I haven't been. Didn't we already learned that? That's probably scripted. Anyways, hit that save and let's go to the Mist Cave. Shite. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Probably to encounter a couple of enemies. Yeah. But we can auto attack. Yeah, it's funny, it would have been a lot faster if I just had these two and then the others. Well, I guess I could have put them on defend, but I didn't. Even then, the hooded man goes so fast compared to everyone else. But against, because he's like. A, he's like level 79 or something like that, but B, yeah, he looks like a nomad or like sort of ninja, but not ninja. Oh, no one may ca uh, pass. Orders from the king. Why not? There's no way my father would give a decree like that. No one may pass. Orders from the king. All right. Hey. Brace yourself, Theodore. Kick this guy's butt. Hiya! <laughs> One touch death. I can't believe we just did that. I figured as much. The monster, he's got that soldier. Wait, where are you going? Wait for me. Oh. Uh. Some ruckus going on. Hmm? Oh, they like reset the treasure chest. I think they're actually in the same exact spots. Ooh, Steel Helm. That's from uh, the first game. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot I have the lustrous helm. I stole it from my daddy. We need to move, Theodore. A cave-in down here would be our end. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Theodore. <laughs> Can you walk? <laughs> I'm fine. Good. Then start climbing. Okay. Gonna leave the auto attack on. Hopefully, what if I can just leave the auto attack on? You know what? Didn't auto die. <laughs> auto die. You can die in one shot. But um, you want know, if auto battle uh, persists across battles? That'd be nice. There's an item here, so let's go here first. Yep. Let's go leave it on auto battle then. So there's no time to waste. Yeah, honestly, I should probably just put Seedor on defend. He doesn't do enough damage to like 
one shot enemies. Actually, there's another chest over here. Nope. I, mean, I guess it makes sense that uh, every single enemy should pretty much be the same enemies from the last game. Maybe just have new bosses. Because yeah, we fought every single one of these so far. I guess closest thing that would have been new was the red uh, zoo. Which I forgot what the name was, but it's the name of the big bird that was red. <laughs> it's encounter after encounter. Now earlier I did whisper that I think it's Kane that's his hooded man, but maybe it's actually Edward. I don't know. Because in their first game, Edward liked to masquerade as a well, bard. But I don't know if he actually would have trained to become this hard. <laughs> Meaning strong and powerful. Makes more sense of Cain was this guy. It definitely makes more sense for Cain to be this guy. Because uh, when Theodore talked about uh, Cecil and Rosa being his parents, then, uh, yeah. Hood man, he's like, sad or something. Alright. So, of course, I have to backtrack all the way. That's the, uh, price I pay for exploring and getting all these chests. As long as I don't get hit by a blaster. Blaster's cost is death. It hits. Yes. I'm surprised he actually gained a level. I'm sad it didn't increase his strength, but that's fine. He's still one shotting enemies, so that's fine. Alright. So I see that there is a way to the right, but I wonder if that's... It is secret area. Does it have chests? Yes, it does. Adamantite. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, it could be, I believe, Adamantite can be used to make legendary weapons for every person, 
Like, I'm not like 100% sure, but I think that is the case. Because mm, as you can tell, we already got it now. Um, in the original game, we got it at the end, in which uh, the guy made one legendary weapon. There's a legendary Forge Master. Oh, yes. Give me some levels. Link. But uh, there's a legendary Forge Master that made. I think it was Excalibur, right? He made it from the uh, adamantite ore that we got for him. Funny enough, we got it by trading in a rat tail, which kind of makes no sense, but. Just like that saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm pretty sure I gave that to Cecil, the headband, so that's why <laughs> right now Theodore has the, uh... Oh, it's you. Oh, did you fall off the bridge? Dear me, what a disaster. You can find the cave exit up ahead, but you won't be able to return to town until then, I think. I don't think. If you want to say it, be careful that you don't save yourself into a corner. By the way, do you need supplies? I'm good. Because I can buy some of these just to be safe I don't need tents cast sight I guess I can get some Phoenix Downs they're pretty cheap in this game actually Phoenix Downs and uh, I think Final Fantasy 3 they're like a thousand a piece I was like what yeah I don't need potions oh I don't care, I'll save. Because I am super strong. Man. Bats. Let's put them on attack now. Oh, that's not one hit. It's okay. He did his best. Another safe space. Wait, which one's the way out? Which one's the way uh, to treasure? This way to treasure. I feel like the other way is the way out because there's a safe space accompanied with it. Safe space usually means uh, boss or like the way out or something like that. But then again, mainly boss. Because if it's the way out of the cave, then we just save on the outside instead of on the uh, circle. Safe circle. Right, just nothing there. Nothing here. It's a battle. It's mind flayers. It's nice having a OP character. Makes this go by a lot faster. Because if it wasn't OP like that, then again, these kind of simple battles would take double the time, which again causes me to have to do this for even longer. Uh, item? Yes, items. Chainmail. Antidote. It's not even that much better than the uh, surplus. Surplus. Yep, yeah, let's keep it. So again, Cedar is pretty higher level than what he normally would have been. I would think I would only get to like mid twenties during this story arc. <laughs> Even with the crit, it wasn't enough. But yeah, hopefully the rest of the. Uh, Tails kind of go as quickly as this one does. Again, mainly because it's uh, characters are higher level than what they usually would be.
Oh yes. Yeah, I love how there was just a safe space like two rooms ago, and then there's already another safe space right here. And I'm not gonna care about it because yeah, I am strong, strong like ox. this it's shaking harder now where's it coming from we're directly above it oh toddler I thought it was gonna be an antlion but it's just an oversized regular enemy Earthquake. You know what that means. I get to cast float. Ouch. <clears throat> so yeah, float allows us to bypass any ground based attacks. I think I can see his uh, stats actually. Yep. Just gotta beat it down. Which I'm good at doing. Or if he's counterattacking with Earthquake, or is he just using Earthquake? Either way, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's counterattacking with Earthquake. I wonder if Theodore actually learns uh, learns a uh, float early. Oh, he's dead already. I need to heal. You alright? I'm fine. Was that thing the inhabitant of this cave? I'd say so. This time at least. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? What you talk about? Alright. Big ol' hole for no reason now. out back to where we started they must have come through here oh they must not escape orders from the king there they are over there too Just beat them all down let's be strong we're surrounded what should we do there's no way out what the Oh, that mist. The mist is thickening. Keep quiet. That's what I call it, mist cave. Where are they? They weren't in mist either, so that means they must be somewhere close to Baron. Thank God for the mist. The question is, how did they get to mist before us? I don't know. Well, I guess because we fell down. The, this mist, it saved us. What is it? Nothing. Let's move before they come back again. It's definitely Kane. <laughs> because uh, Kane's probably reminiscing about when uh, we first came here. 
And of course, if you remember what happened, uh, we killed the Dragon of Mist. Well, that's a whole different tale. Oops. I forgot it did that. <laughs> Maybe I should just turn it so the cursor doesn't remember what I did last. Just so I don't do something like that, but... I don't know. I guess it's because I'm able to auto-attack like that. That's why I'm running into this issue. I really wish I was able to like use the rods or whatever to cast fire or ice or whatever blizzard but that is not the case all right let's get out of here all right made it out Mist is ahead of us, right? That's right. I thought the mountain east of the village had caved in. We'll take advantage of that. Huh? They wouldn't expect a couple of fugitives to head that way, I would imagine. We're walking right into a collapsed mountain? That's exactly right. Wait a minute. Tell me, why are you doing this all for me? I'm not doing this for you. There's a man I'm after. Someone that I have to defeat. Even if it costs me my own life. A man? Who is he? A Dragoon. Ex-Baron. Hey. His name wouldn't be... Prior Dias. I guess Elder's back on his feet. Oh, there's Porum. What is it, Elder? The dragon, it's crying. Dragon's Maul. Not ordeals cross. He looks so sinister. Cain Cecil. And that's the end of that chapter. Or that tale. The last of the Red Wings.